Hello everybody, this is John from One Hour Academy. Welcome to Lesson 6, our final lesson in HTML in one hour. We've learned a lot in the past hour and we've been able to develop a two-page website. But what I want to do in this last lesson is go into something other than HTML and talk about something else called a style sheet. Now a style sheet is a separate file that can be used to give rules to your pages and how they're supposed to look. So we can basically create one file and then all of our pages can, can connect to that one file and whatever I say in that one file for style, these pages will follow those rules. So it all starts by right clicking on our site and creating a new file and this time it's going to be what's called a CSS file. So I'm going to call it style.css. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet and basically it means whatever style we put in here, once we hook it up to our whole site, it'll cascade or spill out over to all the pages so that they all look the same. So there's a couple advantages to doing a style sheet. One is it puts all of your style rules into one location so that all of your pages will look consistent, they'll look the same, and so you'll have this sort of you know, main theme that goes through all your pages. The other thing is it's really easy to maintain your site as a result. So if you decide you want to change something about your site in terms of how it looks, you just come to this one file, make the change there, and all those changes will cascade or spill out to all the other pages. Now with a two-page website, it's, it's not quite as easy to see the benefits of a cascading style sheet, but this works whether you have a two-page or a 200-page website. So it's a really good technique to uh, learn, and it's one that gets used a lot by, by advanced website designers as well. So we'll just go next, and it wants to do a template, but I'm just going to say no to that. Start with a basic raw blank file. Okay, so here's how a style sheet works. Basically, you type the tag that you want to alter. So I want to alter the body tag. Then you tab out maybe once or twice to get over, and you put these curly braces in. And inside here, you list all of the properties that you want to change. So for the body, I want to change the background color. Instead of a white background, I want to change it to something else. So I'm going to go background, color, and then you put a colon and what you want to change it to. Now here's the thing about colors in HTML. It's a six character code. So I'm going to do four F's and two nines. And you're probably thinking, what is that all about? So let me just explain a little bit quickly about how colors work in HTML. If you go onto the internet, to Google Chrome here, or any browser, and you Google the phrase HTML color codes, you'll get a lot of pages that come up that, that can give you that kind of information. I'm going to go to the first one here. And you can see if I scroll down, there's this really handy HTML color picker. And basically how this works, you move your mouse around and you can pick any color that you want and it'll give you the color code down here, which is the equivalent to the red, green, and blue values, but it's translated into a different kind of a system without getting into too much detail. But whenever you have a color in mind that you want to use for anything, you can always come to one of these sites here and you can just pick a color and just literally copy and paste that in. So when you see me doing different colors, you'll know that I kind of I went to a place like this to find out what the codes are for the colors I wanted to use. All right, back to our style sheet. So let's stop there just for now and hook this up to the two pages. So this is going to dictate a, a color. It's kind of a yellowish color on my other pages. So obviously I got to save it first. Now for these two other pages to follow the rules of my style sheet, I have to go back to them just one time only and insert a special little code in the head section. Okay, and the code looks like this. Link rel equals style sheet, which is right there. I can just press enter on that. And when I do that, it kind of messes things up. So I better not do that again. Um, type equals text slash CSS, href equals, and here's where you plug in the name of the style file, which is right there, style.css. So that points to the, this tells it what file to look for, for the style rules. Okay, so that's the only thing you got to do to alter both your pages. And from this point on, we don't have to do anything else. All the work gets done in the style file. So I'm going to copy this and paste it to the other web page I've got. So edit copy, go to here and put it, make sure you put it in the right spot. 
right in the head section below the title. So I'm going to paste it here. Okay, got to save both of these pages. Done. Now we'll preview them. Now you notice that they've changed the color of the body. So here we go. Okay, that's full screen. There we go. So you can see we've got a different color on both of these pages now. Okay. Um, just, you know, as a quick aside, if I come back up here and I change this color, let me put in sort of a gray color, which would be sort of all the same digits. So six sixes. And if I save it, and then I go back to here and I preview, and there you go. So it's really, and both pages are done. Okay, so whenever I make a change to the style file, it automatically updates over here. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let me put it back to the way it was before and we'll just continue. So what I had was one, two, three, four Fs and two nines. All right, so let's look at a few other tags that we want to uh, change. The A tag, if you remember, that's the, the hyperlink tag. So we can change the link color by just going A link like that, A colon link. And I just go color and the color I want to use. So I'm going to go uh, pound sign two Fs and four zeros. Okay, that's that's basically a red color. Okay, and normally it's blue for the hyperlink, right? When you go to a web page by default. So I'm going to make it so that the color is red, whether I've been to that link before or not. So I'm going to put the same color in here. So you just type in the, the property and then a colon, and then what you want to change it to. FF0000. Okay. Um, normally, when you go to a website, the links are blue, and then you go when you go back there, if you've been to that link, it turns purple. So we're just going to keep it red. Now there's an, another really cool one called A Hover. That's for when you mouse over your link. And you can you can have it change a color when you mouse over. So I'm going to go like this: uh, color pound sign two Fs, two zeros, and two Fs. And as you can see, it's it's not case sensitive. I probably should have done caps, but it's good to see it like that. So you can see it works either way. All right, do a quick save. Come back here, do a preview. Okay, and you can see the link is red, and when you hover over it, it turns a purple color. And this one does the same thing. Okay, so that's the the link color. All right, we got a lot more tags that I want to uh, to do with you, um, but perhaps we should save that for the next tutorial. So I I think I'm going to put this into like a two part lesson because it's kind of hard to teach style sheets in a, a ten minute lesson. We're already up to eight minute mark. So why don't we? call this part one of style sheets and we're going to do a part two where we finish this off and uh, we'll start another lesson and hopefully you'll join me back for that and we'll finish this off this is john from one hour academy and thank you for watching